Okay. So, I'm going to be reading Kel Kakose by Dana Levin. You want to get in and then get out of the box. Form breakage form. I was in the fish shop wondering why being experimental means not having a point. Why experimentation in form is sufficient unto itself, is it? But I need a new way to say things. Sad, tired eye with its dulled violations, lyric with loss in its faculty den. Others were just throwing a veil over suffering. Glittery, interesting, I don't exist. All over town I marched around ranting my Jeremy eye, thinking, what good is form if it doesn't say anything? And by say, I meant wake somebody up. Even here at the shores of Lake Champlain, mothers were rinsing small arms out of sockets. Not just the mothers. What were the fathers doing, wrenching small arms out of bedside caches? How could I disappear into language where children are being called fuckers by their mothers, who are being called cunts by their boyfriends, who are being called dickheads behind their backs? It wasn't that I was a liberal Democrat. It was that bodies had been divested of their souls, like poems, trying to get in or out of the box. And the scallop said, Noli de que don le chose. And I said, I have the captain special with wedges instead of fries. And everywhere in the fish shop, the argument raged. It's baroque proportion, the conflict between harmony and invention. But then a brilliance, the movement of her gloved hand as she laid the haddock out one by one. The sheer transparency of her latex fingers in and out of the lit display case as if they were, yes, fish. Laying haddock out in a plastic tub on a bed of ice, her lank brown hair pulled back from her face with a band. Yes, it was true. She had to do this for the market, but there was such beauty in it. She was the idea called tenderness. She was a girl who stood under fluorescent lights making six bucks an hour, and she looked up at me and held out a haddock with both her hands, saying it was the best of the morning's catch. <clears throat> I think... Um, I think that Dana took a particular interest in how people interact with each other in public, um, per se, by um, parents um, yell yelling at their kids, snatching them up, calling them mean names, you know, like curse words, and, you know, just, I guess, everyone cursing each other behind their backs while being cursed at behind their backs, and, um... I don't know why that fascinated her, but it made her upset, um, I guess, to think about the world in such a negative way. But then also feeling like, I guess she's in a box and wanting to be in the box, but outside the box at the same time. Um, and then thinking outside the box, I guess, but being inside the box. Like she said, she wanted to n learn new ways to say things but posed sentences in odd ways to where it was hard for me to read because I wasn't following along. And I don't know, and then just buying fish. Why was she buying fish? I don't know. Um, she's at a lake, lake something, I forgot. But maybe that whole like rough atmosphere of like sailors, or not sailors, like fishermen, and you know, they're like, um, I guess they have, like, bad language and stuff, and they're, you know, whatever. Maybe she just needs to move away from the lake or the harbor and um, go somewhere where people don't use as much foul language, if you can find a place like that. Okay.